Hi everyone, I'm Winnie. Um, I'm a teacher and a relieving assistant principal in a primary school in Sydney, Australia, and welcome to my video on Google Classroom assignments. Um, so this video will be about creating assignments, adding attachments, editing and commenting on assignments. Um, I will leave some timestamps down below if you would like to switch in between or come back and have a look um, at different yeah, sections of the video. All right, let's go. All right, so creating assignments. So first we need to go into Google Classroom. Um, so if you are wondering how to set up Google Classroom and how to log in, then I do have a video on that, on how to use Google Classroom and make it fun for your students during COVID-19. So I've got different um, sections of the video that you can um, switch in between or go to. Um, I've got yeah, a section on how to set it up, how to set expectations, how to organize your students and how to check in and have fun as well and um, implement some interactive projects and etc. Um, so that's there. And I will also leave these slides with um, all the instructions in the um, description below too, so that you can access it. Okay, so you go into Google Classroom um, and then let's have a look. So you go into Google Classroom, you go into Classwork and then you press create assignment and then you put in your title. Um, so let's do persuasive writing. Okay, and then yeah, you can put in your title and any instructions that you need to. And then after that, you can add in your class and your students. So um, you can put in whoever students as well. So you can do your whole class or you can do certain students as well. So if you wanted to do group work, for example, then you could click on um, specific kids that you wanted to give um, that assignment to. Um, and they could work on the same document if you wanted them to. Okay, and then there's points. So you can assign points or you can leave it ungraded. You can also put in a due date as well. Um, you can pick a topic, so I'm going to do writing, or you could create one as well. So let's do, well, this is persuasive, so I'm going to put it under writing. You can also put in a rubric, reuse a rubric, import as well. So if you're creating a rubric, then you just put in the title, description, put in however many points, so you can add different criteria as well so you can add that too so i'm going to get out of rubric um, in my slides that i will share with you um, i have also put in um, a photo of the rubric and also little descriptions of what um, yeah what you can put in there all right let's go to adding attachments so for attachments there are um, you can add four different things. So you can add in um, files from your Google Drive. You can, um, so if we actually click into that, you can find, you know, recent documents. Um, you can upload files. You can find files from your drive, your shared drive, anything that you've shared as well. Um, yeah, so there's a file, which will go back to there and also, any YouTube links, you can search in there, or URL, you can paste it in there if you've got it already. You can also create documents and slides and sheets and etc. if you um, wanna do it that way. So let's start off. So I've got some information on the slide too. Um, so you, you can have a look at that if you want to. So let's actually attach something. So let's go add. I'll go into my drive. So in my drive, um, I've already created a folder on persuasive writing and I created some slides. So you can do that by you know, um, adding a slides in there. This is the slide that I created for my kids 
skills on persuasive writing and the topic is children should continue learning at home. <laughs> and then I've put all different activities and slides on there. So you can do it like that. So you can create, you know, create a slide or create a Word document um, and then you can attach it into your assignments. So for example, you could go into recent. So I've been in, clicked on that recently. So I will click on that. And then I will click add. And here you can choose whether you want your students to view the file, edit file, or make a copy for each student. So if you were going to give them access to view the file, that means that they'll only be able to see it and they won't be able to, um, you know, edit it or anything. Whereas you want them to edit the file, then that's fine. Um, if you do choose for them to edit the file, then this could be a good way um, you could do group work, so you could um, click on, you know, specific kids, like maybe two or three kids, and then they can edit that file together. But if you do click on all students, then all of the, all of your kids will be able to edit that one file. Um, if you want to make a copy for each student, then that means they will be able to work on that slide individually, and they'll be able to submit it back to you. So this is what I want. Um, you can also add, so I'm going to add some resources so that they can um, have a look while they're doing their Google Slides. Um, so for this, yeah, I'm going to leave it as view. So let's go. So I've put all that information into this slide as well if you need it. And then we can either assign now, schedule it for later, or we can save it as draft. So I am, so if you schedule it, then you can schedule it at whatever time, whatever day you want it to be. And you can schedule it. I'm just gonna assign it now. There, and now it's gone under my tab for writing. So persuasive writing, draft. There. All right, the next thing we're going to do is look at editing assignments. So you can edit assignments through Google Classroom. So this is where you, you know, go back into your classwork, you go back into whatever topic you put it under, like writing, and then you can view assignment, you can edit, so let's go. So if you're viewing assignment, then you're seeing, um, you know, the class work, the instructions. If you click on edit, then you can edit whatever you need to edit, where it, whether it's the title or the grade or the due date or the topic, or if you want to add or take away something, or if you want to change, change, then you can do that in there. Save. You can also edit through your drive as well. So if you need to edit any documents, then you just go back into your drive. You go back into um, that file and if there's anything that you need to change on there then you can change it and then it should change for um, your students um, as well so um, I have put in so this is a uh, slide that I gave my students because we we're doing persuasive writing and um, I was giving them instructions on how to you know brainstorm um, criteria for introduction so what they needed to include for their sizzling start point of view, preview of ideas, and then the criteria. Conclusion, how to self-assess, and then editing, revising. And then I also put in the, um, yeah, what a good one looks like. 
in there. So if you're interested in me sharing this with you and um, sharing what we've done for persuasive writing, then just let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm happy to do that. Okay, let's go. So you can, you know, edit if you need to edit, then you can just edit in the slides. Okay, the next thing is commenting on assignments. So there are four ways that you can do this. So you can do a class comment, you can do a private comment, you can add comments in the assignment, you can add comments while the students are still working, um, which is, this is what I like to do because then I, I'm able to give them feedback um, while they're actually working so that they can improve on their work before they even submit it back into me. Um, so, yeah, so here is classwork. So what you do is you just go back. Uh, so you just go back to classwork and then you just click on new assignment, you go into instructions and then you can put in a class comment. So say, remember to check the, um, to include strong starters. And post. So you can do a class comment there. You can also do a private comment as well um, on the student's work. So let me just show you an example. So I'm gonna go into my students my class, Google Classroom, classwork, let's go, let's go into this. And then I'll just pick. So once you go into your student work, you can actually see up the tab up here, you can see who's turned in their work, you can see who still needs to turn in their work. You can go between students, which is great. And then on the side, this is where you can put your private comments. Um, so this is where I've given feedback to, and I've just um, you know said hi, uh, whatever the name is, and then just written in what feedback I wanted them to work on. So you can do that in the private comments. You can also add comments in the assignment as well. So for example, this button here, you can press add, and then you can type in your comment in there as well, and they'll be able to see it. So that's the third way. And then the other way I like to do is add comments while they're still working. So you can go into their work like we were before here, and then you can actually, you know, um, highlight. So if I were to give feedback um, on that paragraph, I might highlight. So if that's what I wanna talk about, and then I could um, just say, remember, to use a strong sentence starter here. And then I would highlight that also in the same color, so you can use different colors, and I would italic it just so that um, the child knows that, you know, this is what I'm talking about, that line here, and this is what I want you to do, and I've italiced it. And then all you have to do is just click, 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 and then if they've already submitted it in, then you can just return it back to them as well. So you can return this submission or multiple as well. So yeah, those are the four, four different ways that you can comment. All right, if you um, wanna see how, how else I give feedback, um, to help my students progress and grow. I have a whole um, whole comprehensive video on that as well, where I use um, Google Classroom and Zoom to do that. So the link is down below and also in these slides too. I also have a video on how to engage students in a project 
Um, so it's a really quick and easy project for you to implement for the next term. So if you want to have a look at that, then you can click um, on that link and I'll also leave it down below as well. And can you comment below, um, would you like to see a video on persuasive writing? Uh, would you like me to share my resources like the criteria and the slides as well? Um, so just let me know in the comment below. And um, I will leave a link in the description on, you know, step-by-step -step guide. So I'll leave these slides down there as well so that you can refer back to them too. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and you can find me at um, Miss Winnie Tang on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks everyone. See you guys in the next video. Bye.